In this video, I'd like to have a look at EasyEDA, which is actually part of JLC, PCB, and LCSC, and it's the online or downloadable uh, PCB and schematic editor. I've never actually used this before, so I'm going to kind of go through, try it out for myself, and see what I like and what I don't like about it. So let's get started. I'm just going to be making a simple, essentially, dongle or breakout board for this FT232 FTDI chip, which is basically a USB to UART converter and quite handy in a number of situations. So the board will just contain a USB connector, this chip, and then a GPIO header for the UART output or input. Before we get started actually looking at the schematic, there's actually this JLC PCB and EasyEDA Electronics user group on Facebook. So if you are part of Facebook and you like or use JLC PCB and EasyEDA, I'd suggest you join that because there'll be projects shared and tips and tricks on how, how to actually use the software. So here we are in EasyEDA, which you can see is running in my browser, which is quite neat. So you can work from anywhere. And you can see I already made um, the project and the schematic and the PCB, and I'd like to walk you through those step by step. So if you click on the schematic first, we can open it up here and you can see it's a standard schematic editor. And to me, actually, the schematic editor felt a lot like Altium. In fact, uh, EasyEDA felt a lot like Altium. A lot of the commands are the same. The 3D viewer looks, looks pretty similar and so on. So this is a really simple schematic, as you can see. We have a USB connect on the left here. We have the FTDI USB to UART convert over here, some status, transmission and reception LEDs, and essentially just a GPIO header, which has all the UART signals on it, plus power and ground. And a lot of this information, as usual, you can get directly from the data sheet. So you can see here there are a couple application examples, USB to RS-422, but what we're interested is in in is pretty much a, just a simple UART interface. So for example, to an EMS microcontroller. So I've pretty much taken most of this into the schematic over here. I'm using the five volts from the USB to power this whole board. And then the FTDI chip actually has its own 3.3 volt regulator, which I'm then feeding into essentially the VCC IO, which sets the logic levels of the UART. The two status LEDs indicate transmission and reception, and yeah, and I think that's pretty much all there is. I'm performing a tiny bit of filtering with this ferret bead and C1. Other than that, most of this is just taken from the datasheet. The nice thing about the EasyDA software is, is that it's pretty much directly linked to the LCSC and JLC PCB parts catalog. So you can see on the left here, we have this library button, and that actually brings up the search engine. So we can actually click on LCSC electronics, and if, for example, I want this FTDI chip, I will just type in FT. 232, press enter, and you can see what's in stock. And I can actually directly place these parts. I chose one of these chips on here, I believe, but let's just choose a different one. So if I click on place, it's gonna load the part in. You can see I've got the symbol and I have the footprint. I click on place and I can put it anywhere on the schematic. And that's really useful because I don't need to draw the symbol myself and I don't need to draw the footprint myself. And everything's linked with the LCC catalog. So all the part numbers and so on will be in the project already. So that's really useful and quick, I find. So pretty much all the parts here I got directly from the LCC catalog. So there's micro XNJ um, connector, which is a micro USB connector. As I said before, there's FTDI chip, the LEDs, resistors, capacitors, and so on. I all got using this library button. So I didn't have to draw any of the symbols myself or any of the footprints. So once you've done that, you can actually add a PCB design file, and that's where we can go out to layout and routing. So let's have a look at that now. So here you can see I've already finished the design and the layout of this PCB. It's a simple two layer PCB with the top layer being signal routing and the bottom layer being predominantly a solid ground plane. And I'd just like to talk you through this little design. The flow, so to speak, of the board is that on the left side, we have the USB connector. In the middle, we have the logic IC. And on the right side, we have the UART connections. The routing actually I found pretty intuitive with this program. As I said, it's very similar to Altium or most other a PCB design software. So if you're used to one, I think you can work in pretty much anyone. The nice thing, as I said before, is that this is this actually is running in my browser and I don't have to download any special software to do this. So I could do this on the fly and anywhere I am. So that's really nice. There's not really too much to mention with the layout and routing this board because it's USB essentially uh, full speed. So it's fairly slow. We don't have to do any length matching of the USB lines or uh, trace impedance, control impedance and so on. We don't need to do any of that. Uh, one thing with two layer boards I'd recommend is that if you have to jump to the bottom layer, which should be a, a solid ground plane, try to keep those connections very short. If you can't make the connections very short, um, there's something you can do called ground straps, where on the top layer then you have a ground via, then a ground trace and a ground via to the other side. But I've tried to keep all my connections on the bottom layer very short, so as, as not to interrupt the ground plane too much. 
As usual, I'm just keeping the decoupling capacitors pretty close to the ICs, and then of course labeling the board with silk screen just to indicate what's what. So we have the reception LED, transmission LED, what all these GPIO terminals do, of course the name of the board. A really nice feature is actually, if you look up here, I can click on 3D, and that renders the board in 3D, and I didn't have to import any of the 3D models myself, this is all pre-made from, for example, the LCSC parts catalog. So the last step is then to produce the manufacturing and assembly files for JLC PCB. And since this is all integrated into the EZDA software, we can do this really quickly. We have to go up here on the top to fabrication, and then we can generate the bill of materials, the fabrication files and the Gerber files, and also the pick and place information. So if you just click on bill of materials, we can export the bill of materials here. If we click on pick and place file, we can do the same thing. And then of course the Gerber files. So before we generate the Gerber files, it actually asks us if you want to do a design rule check. And of course you should do that at multiple points during your PCB design. So let's do this to do that. And on the left side, we see you have zero DRC errors. And here we're ready to come up straight with a JLC PCB ordering form. So you can choose your quantity, thickness, color, uh, what service finish you want, the copper weight, and so on. So you can generate the Gerbers or order directly at JLC PCB. And at the moment, they actually have this promotional offer with a coupon we can get uh, $10 off your PCB in SMT assembly. So if you want, I'd recommend you to use that. With that being said, that's pretty much all you have to do. So thank you for watching this short walkthrough of Easy EDA, and I hope to see you in the next video.